Well, without a doubt, tense moments inside Gaten Baptist Church here in Henrico County. And that teen tells me he's never had official training before, but did not hesitate to save a life. I just kind of wanted to give back to the community. The motto at Henrico's Gaten Baptist Church. Belong, believe, become. I was really scared for a second. And one September Sunday. Yeah, right here. 18-year-old Wade Carter became what some call a hero. I hope that someone else would have done the same thing. The Glen Allen senior and small group leader recalls the moment. It was transition time. When fate forced him to face the unexpected after a boy began to choke on candy. He tapped my shoulder and I turn around and he's holding his neck like this. The teen says he listened to his gut. So I thought for a few seconds and I was like, well, what do I do? And I kind of remembered a little bit of learning the Heimlich in 10th grade. A few frightening moments later, Carter frees the candy from the boy's throat. But it's kind of scary to think about if that had gone on and nobody had noticed. His mom said, Wade just saved his life. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? And his mother, Amy, held a two-week secret that Henrico Fire and the Board of Supervisors would honor her son for his heroism. But it doesn't surprise me that he could act that quickly. Quick actions that helped save a life. So my advice would be to, to learn the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> Definitely good advice there. And Wade tells me he's currently applying for colleges. He's considering either Virginia Tech or UVA, and he's using this experience to apply for those colleges on his application. So good luck to him. Working for you in Henrico County, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.